All right, this one here is a 2005 Chevy Express. It's a uh, one-ton 3500 van. Work truck 3500. And I have a no start. A couple other issues going on here. Um, I'll show you what I found. I already know what's going on, but I thought it was interesting. It might help somebody. So I have the fuel pump relay out. And the issue is, is it wouldn't start. The um, gauges were messed up. Everything was kind of flickering on the inside. And I have a, my test light hooked up to it. Now, uh, if I could find the relay, what you have here is, and you're going to have to flip this down that way. So you, have, you would have power on 30 and 87 would be, am I on 87? would be the uh, fuel pump side and if you look at the little chart here so when 85 and 86 are energized it'll energize the coil and pull the relay from 30 to 87 so like I said th this thing would start and run on ether that's how we got it around in the shop we just kept spraying the uh, air cleaner inlet there and just drove it to where it needed to be and the fuel pump, of course, is, uh, it's, you've got to drop the tank and it's almost full and, well, I don't know how full, but it's got a lot of gas in it, big van, probably 30 gallons. And I want to do a couple tests before I drop the tank. I wanted to check for power and all that stuff and see what was going on and see if I could correlate it to the uh, dash issue and the, uh, the electrical glitches that's going on. So I'll go to a wiring diagram real quick. So here's the wiring diagram. There's the fuel pump relay. There's the pump. Pump right there. And uh, here's the coil control of the relay. And then here's the contact. You have your 20 amp or whatever that is. Fuel pump fuse. And then it comes out to the fuel pump. So what I wanted to see is if I had well this ground here it says it's right on the engine so make sure I had a ground and then I had computer control from the green wire if you follow that all the way back it goes to the computer the computer turns that on so I wanted to make sure I had control make sure I had power here and then of course the power was making it to the fuel pump so we'll show that test alright back to everybody's favorite test light I am in the uh, socket for the fuel pump relay and you can see that on the chart and you know, follow the relay number 57 or whatever so that there is 87 where my I'm showing a ground so that would be going through the fuel pump to ground back to the battery so if you look at the relay, like I said I'm on 87. It's showing in the center there, but if you look under here, 87 is where I am. This is going to plug in down like that. 87 is on my top left. Got a weird shadow here. There it is, 87, which would be my, or my, yeah be on my bottom left if I'm looking down in the thing or in the fuse box so there's there's my ground there now if I move it over to 30 you can see there's my power so I got 12 volts there and on the control side I did feel it clicking but I like to check anyway so you're gonna have a ground there and then you're gonna have a power there and a lot of times you'll see a dim power through a, I don't know, through this test light or a dim ground because the key's off. But when I turn that on and crank it, that'll give me my power source. 
I could. You, you're a TV star now. No, Clark, no, 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 no. I got Clark helping me. See, it doesn't start. You hear my test like beep. Go ahead. Do it. Key on. Let off. And then it runs for a second, then it shuts off. So there. Thanks, Clark. Yeah, yeah. So there's my uh, computer control side of the relay. Like I said, it did click. So my next step, just because you know I like playing around, is I actually got a paper clip right here, and I just I just jumped. Cause you could have a bad relay. I could switch relays around, but I just jumped my uh, 30 and 87. I won't bore you with the details, but the fuel pump still wouldn't run. But I noticed something when we had the key on. There was a uh, no. There's my ground here. I'm back to the fuel pump side. So this is the side that would be feeding the fuel pump. I'm showing a ground which would be through the pump. You know, through the whole ground circuit back to the battery. If I had an open pump or an open wire then I would see nothing on this. There would, you know, with a relay out of the circuit, it would be dead. So I have a completed circuit to ground. But when we turned the key on, when we were trying to crank, we had this clicking noise. So I'll see if I can duplicate that. So I don't know if you can hear the click, but you could see my test light is flickering and it corresponds with the click. So I started searching for that just to see what was clicking and what else was in the circuit. And I'll take this up so we could show you. So I'm laying on my back under this heavy van and there's the uh, fuel tank in the drive shaft and I hear the clicking and it seems to be clicking in the ABS unit so if I unplug the ABS unit the clicking goes away which I thought was odd so I plug it back in and it starts clicking again so now I'm gonna try to see where these two are tied together and see what's going on all right so most of you guys are gonna know where I'm going with this anyway but I'm trying to see where the link is and there's nothing but a main ground to be honest with you so that's where I'm searching for now to see if I have a bad ground and it's back feeding so if you look at my my uh, fuel pump relay and that one grounds on the left rear of the engine but that one isn't the one that's pulsing I'm pulsing on the power wire or the gray wire which would be the power feed to the pump and it's pulsing ground here which is on the left let's say left rear inner left rear frame rail and then if you go over to the um, ABS unit right here you have the ABS pump and then the only ground I see on here is on the left frame rail near the EBCM the electronic brake control module they're not the same ground because that's G400 and that one is G300 but they're both on the frame rail so I went back further to see where everything ties together and if you go to the one with the battery, here's my ground circuit. You can see the uh, I have a main ground on the right frame rail, and it does show where 300 here is right there. And I'm not quite sure where the 400 was. It was the ABS unit all by itself. Let me find that real quick. Okay, I'm sorry. The 300 is the brake control module by itself on the left frame rail near the EBCM. And the 
400 is on the left rear frame rail and that's the fuel pump and a sender and then if it's got any trailer tow stuff so either way they're two separate grounds but my my thought was is it's probably back feeding through grounds through here so where does the frame rail how does that make it back to the battery and then I went to the first page which has the battery on it right here and you can see there's a main ground on the right front frame rail <clears throat> and then uh, a junction point where it jumps onto the engine and then piggybacks back to the battery and then you have one here that's probably the little one that goes to the inner fender so I want to chase some grounds but while I was messing with my theory lower this back down one actually I'll show you yeah I'll lower it back down real quick so what I did here is I went back to where I have my test light on the fuel pump control side I'm reading that ground I'll turn the key on we'll get that to flash Turn the key on. And now I'm showing a dim power. All right. Well, there it is. The flash again. So I definitely don't have a good ground. There's something back feeding through there. That dim power was my stupid test light just not knowing where to go with it. So here's our flash hear the click so what I did is I found the ground for the ABS which is right by the body mount and I ran a jumper wire to that bolt and I was hoping and this is what happened if I took the other end of that wire wherever it is right here and I touched it to ground where I have stuff oh, you can see it arced so, hook that to the ground, come back to my test light, and you can see now I have a solid green. So, this thing, if I pull this out and put my relay back in, this thing should start. At least that's what the hope is. So, reach under here. There it goes. It started. I didn't really see the gauge mess up, but the customer said that it did. So I do have a check engine light I'll have to look into. But everything seems to be working. The car is running. If I take my ground off of here, you see that spark? It starts running out of fuel. And boom stalls so I have a bad ground it's as simple as that I just bypassed it and made it so I could get into detail with with uh, doing resistance and checking resistance to ground and all that junk but I'm in the shop and I want to get this done so I'll show you where the problem was I'll take this up back down here underneath the van grab my light and you can see right here now when I was under here this was actually connected but you could see how corroded the ground strap looks and there's the bolt where it goes the junction point on the uh, wiring diagram where the main ground wire this fat one goes up to the battery and then the, this one here just goes right onto the right frame rail right there and that would be the one that took all the stuff grounded on the other side of the frame and who knows 
where else and then took it back to here so I pulled on this and it just disintegrated and fell apart so I got a new one coming it's like 60 bucks our cost from GM comes with this heavy ground strap this main wire and then the one up on the battery which would be that one right there going to the uh, inner fender here so it's all just one cable and that's what it looks like so here's your main ground there and this is this one goes down to the block this one right here just does a piggyback and comes back up over to there so we already proved that one's gonna fix it because I just ran a new ground and it worked so that's that I'm not super technical but someone may run into that and it's easy to just put it up in the air and check so appreciate y'all watching I'll, I'll be back see it what are you making recording there we go record Nick wanted to be in the video too mm -hmm. there's Nick here's Bob look he's running away he's, running he's away. from another shop I gotta run him into missions but $63 it's wow. not even worth trying to make this cable this little piece doesn't even come with on my it must be for a different application there's an extra ground in case you have like a boom box or something huh Nick mm -hmm. but this was my culprit piece right here quit it Clark I'm filming Clark's he needs room. to come up with a new term. That's on like five of my videos. This is the part that frayed. So there you go. I'll put that that thing in and we'll be done. Thanks for watching.